bait fish minnows and stuff so um, we're gonna bust it out and see if I can make it happen I brought my bait bucket I got a little aerator with me uh, we're gonna see some shrimp some minnows some mullet whatever the heck I can get uh, if it doesn't work now there's always more activity as the Sun gets closer to the horizon it is the afternoon so uh, right now the tide is kind of starting to move out slowly so uh, we're gonna fish this outgoing tide. Uh, it tends to work for me really well here, especially when I can combine that with the wind direction to be favorable for uh, my lines. So we're gonna get to it. Well, I don't think that was running at all, but I got the one livey with the cast net. We'll throw it some more if I see some more schools of stuff going on. But uh, I need to get my armor rest. This is still a new activity, so after about, you know, 10 or 20 throws, as at least a dozen throws, uh, my arm's kind of tired, so we're going to wait a little bit, throw some more later. Let's uh, get the set rigs out and get this one live bait on, and we'll get to it. All right. Close small rod going out. Nice and close. It drops off really deep, really fast here, so it does not have to be far out there to catch fish. Maybe fish is around the corner. guy put you on Let's flick you out So this guy should just swim around a bit out there. And if I feel something take this line, 
I know that's basically game on. fish on this one. Certainly a real hit. But I don't think it's still there. I was having trouble getting my GoPro going. It was probably crabs anyway. Straight through that sun. Oh, nope, we got a fish. We got a decent whiting. So making the change was already worth it. Oops. No monster, but he will definitely do. Piece of shrimp out there. Finally putting meat in the cooler. Something's messing with this one. Got a nice amount of day daylight left too. Tip wrap. Tip wrap. Tighten her down. Don't cut my finger off. That's a little more cloud cover. Would be cool. So I'm not staring straight into the sun, but it is beautiful out here, nonetheless. real hit on this one. That's a real, real hit on this one. Did I get him? Totally missed him. 
That son of a bitch got some fish bites from me. Got another piece of fish vice. Get some more scrumps on there. I think there's a school of whiting moving through. Am I rolling? That's good because I have a fish on that I didn't even know I had. I had it on probably so long that something ate its tail. Holy wow. Yeah. I had this whiting on and while it was on something ate its tail. That's fresh. I've never seen that happen before. But maybe I should put a whiting head out on something or some cut whiting Still there. Might have just been crabs. What are you? Another fat whiting. Different species of whiting too. Nice. Nice. That was a real hit here. I think I got that. Feels like it might be another whiting. <coughs> oh, what have we got? Oh, wow. Not one we're trying to keep. Definitely cool to catch some different species though. Getting close here to the end of the day, so that's neat. He's got little teeth. Yeah, not put my finger in there. Interesting fish. Really pretty, really pretty fins on that. Anyway, bye buddy. Thank you.
All right, let's get some more shrimp on that. So that's very likely gonna do it for this episode of Fish and Control. I am putting out um, a couple more baits, but uh, it's getting dark and I don't think you're gonna be able to see me catch anything. So we're gonna, um, we're gonna wrap this up here. Thanks for watching Fish and Control and we'll see you on the next trip.